Good morning, everybody. Well, something super exciting happening today. I'm going to meet a pirate. I'm cruising the boat. I'm going to go down to the other side of Lineal. I'm going to meet up with Heidi, aka the narrowboat pirate. And then we're going to meet up with another solo boater, Nikki, at Pree's Branch. And then going to go down Pree's Branch. So I'm going to be solo boating for the first time ever today. Um, so sadly, I don't have my little um, camera person at my mum. Um, so I don't know whether I'll get any footage of this trip, uh, but we shall see. <laughs> but I'm super excited, so I'm going to prep to leave now and be on my way. Coming up to the Ellesmere Tunnel now. Got me light on. And fingers crossed, I don't see anyone coming through. I'm really not keen on manoeuvring this boat sort of last minute. <laughs> but I haven't seen anyone yet. Not a single moving boat, which is great. Just coming round the bend at Blakemere. And I'm freezing already. Um, I should have put on another coat, but I didn't. Um, I've not cruised in February before. Um, it's not it's not too cold, but I'm starting to feel it now. Um, but it's not far before I meet up with Heidi and I will pull over and get a coat. I've also got some coffee, so I'll grab some coffee in a minute. <laughs> Hello! Here's Blinkmere. Really lovely place to moor. I'll have to come down here just for the weekend. Um, it's only about a mile and a half from the marina, so it's not far at all. Um, but it's just lovely and it'd be nice to get some peace and quiet, especially this time of year. You can see there's only one other boat here. In summer, this gets absolutely packed. But right now, it's very, very peaceful and gorgeous. It's really nice to be cruising and not be rushing to get somewhere. Um, it's so much more relaxing because of course I've only ever tried to be somewhere for a particular day and a particular time through necessity, not on purpose, but that's because of the works that the boat needed doing. Um, and then of course on the way back, when I wasn't too rushed, we broke down. So there's been endless problems and this is the first time where I'm cruising along and there's nothing going wrong. I'm fingers crossed. I mean, you know, I'm sure there will be something going wrong. Um, but I'm also a lot less stressed because I'm going to meet people. And so I know that there's help somewhere if I do break down. And I think knowing that I've got that support there makes me feel a lot more relaxed about, you know, things that might go wrong. I'm just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Um, so that's really nice to be able to build confidence that way and also it's really nice not to have a boat right behind me as you can clearly see because when I was going this way which was the first time I'd ever cruised a boat was coming this way back in September or was it August I can't remember um, it was so busy because it was summer and there was so many boats and I had constantly got a boat up my backside because I'm going really slowly because I you know, I'm a beginner and I lack confidence. Um, and I do like cruising nice and slow because, you know, you can enjoy yourself more and see more of the, the canal and it's just lovely. Um, so yeah, it's really nice not to have to keep pulling in and letting people go because that means maneuvering the boat and I'm not very good at that. Um, although maybe I should practice that more, I don't know. But anyway, it's just really nice just to be here and, and just cruising along, minding my own business. <laughs> Langothan is beautiful because it's tree-lined and you're just passing through beautiful countryside 
The only problem with that is, is you don't really get a lot of sun, so if you rely on solar, it's not got the best mooring spots. But for peace, quiet and tranquility, I don't think you could get any better than this. I'm getting warmer now because the engine's got hot, so the heat's coming up through my feet and through my legs, which is lovely. I remember how like difficult that was in the summer when it was appallingly hot and your feet just got kind of swollen and horrible and of course you got the vibrations as well and because we were pushed to go somewhere we were cruising eight hours a day um so this is very pleasant nice bit of warmth up my feet it's like a big radiator <laughs> we'll be shortly coming up on colmia so we've got just after this bridge colmia is on the right uh, i've done a video of the whole of Colmere, a walk around it. I'll put a link uh, on the video for that. And it's quite a narrow stretch of canal after this bridge. And the towpath in parts, um, not after this bridge, but before the next one. So we've got two bridges, one this side of Colmere and then one kind of halfway down it. And beyond the second bridge, the towpath um, was atrocious last time I came for a walk along here a few weeks ago um, and it was awful uh, like quagmire awful so I'll be interested to see whether it's recovered any because we haven't had any rain for about maybe three weeks now which is unusual for British winters really unusual I've loved it because the engine bay hasn't filled with water it's been fabulous <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not great for the environment, I suppose, because if it's another hot, dry summer here, then we're going to have serious drought problems. But for now, from a voter's perspective, it's lovely. Unless, of course, you want to go on any other canals, because they might shut them again, because they shut a few last year because the water levels were so low. But the Langoslin um, tends to keep its water levels very stable, really, because it's fed by the River Dee. So it's only if the River Dee had a, a serious problem that the Langothlan would have a problem. So yeah, generally this canal remains open and the water level is pretty stable. You can see Colmia peeping through the trees over there. You can't normally see it um, in the summer from here because the trees are full of leaves, but not so much this time of year. I do love the colours, so I know a lot of people love autumn because the leaves are on the change, but even now we've got all these beech leaves, there's still that beautiful copper colour. Just stunning. And here you've got uh, quite a few evergreens as well, holly, a few conifers, and the ivy, of course. Oh, squirrel just did the jump of death, there he is. <laughs> risky. Imagine if he'd landed on my boat, that would have been hilarious. For me, not the squirrel. I'm not sure what I would have done actually, I probably would have had to pull over. Another fab view of the lake, just going out of sight there. Coming up to some of that really muddy towpath I mentioned. It still looks pretty muddy, but it might have gone solid. Yeah, it doesn't look as bad. Manageable, isn't it? Definitely manageable. And here's one of the other particularly nasty bits. You can see where uh, my brother and I pulled all the, the dead ferns out and put it down to make a bit of a walkway. That was a fun day. Loose interpretation of the word fun, you understand. I'm not far from the meeting point now, uh, just one bridge to go and it's a good job too because I am desperate for a week <laughs> and my I'm so cold I can't feel my fingers anymore. Um, it's difficult to actually type 
to Heidi and press record and stuff like that. So, yes, really chuffed that I can stop for a minute um, and just get a coat and some gloves before we get moving and fill up my flask of coffee because I've run out of coffee. Disaster. <laughs> oh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Pirate of the port bow. I see Heidi. Well, I made it. We're here. Um, I've moored up just just um, briefly. We're going to go in to see Heidi's boat and have a cup of coffee. Um, so glad I've made it. I've put on all my layers and I'm slowly thawing out. <laughs> all moored up. Okay, time to find a pirate ship. And here be pirates. <laughs> and we're off again, leaving behind some wonderful boaters, big group of boaters behind us. Um, we're on our way now to uh, Pries. We're going to stop off for water um, and then, yeah, more up at the top of Pries and then head down the branch tomorrow morning for breakfast. It's all very exciting. <laughs> Coming up behind a pirate. And we'll try not to take it from behind. I feel a spot of rain. Hopefully that is just a spot and it's not gonna actually rain rain because that would suck. Just coming up to bridge 49. Doing well so far. Well, we're at the water point near Bettersfield and yeah, I had chaos getting in. Despite Heidi helping, I still screwed it up. Uh, I wish I could it on camera, but yeah, we're in now. We're here, filling up on water. <laughs> had a boat waiting to pass as well. And they were very patient, letting me faff about trying to get on this side of the canal. So thank you. And away we go, off to Breeze. Here's the first advertisement for Wixall Marina. So this is where we're heading tomorrow morning for breakfast. Look at that, just is that 38 or 30? 38 seems a bit random. I bet it's 30. Yeah, 30 minutes away down the pre's arm of the canal. They've got a cafe. And I might get some kindling as well. Um, depending on how close I can put the boat. I didn't bring my trolley with me on this little trip. I've left it in my shed. So we'll see how close. We're not going to go down there today because we might run out of daylight, but we're going to um, probably more up at the top of Priest Branch somewhere when we meet up with Nikki and then go down the arm in the morning. There's only, uh, I think it's two lift bridges down the arm. So not too bad. There's been quite a lot of vegetation controls happening since I last came down here so you see all these trees been cut on the left and also on the right although I think this is private property unless of course this has all been cut by uh, boaters conscientious boaters helping out with uh, scrub control <laughs> nothing to do with putting it in the fire at all get a load of this you might not be able to see them yet on camera but there is a load of sheep on the towpath which is hilarious oh I think I scared him <laughs> Coming up to one of my favourite sections now, um, which is a very long straight stretch alongside the National Nature Reserve. Uh, we're just at the, the bottom end of the Nature Reserve now, 
um, but this is just really nice. It feels like it goes on forever. It's dead straight and it's also, ironically, where I very first conked my engine. Um, I should have known there was something wrong with it all the way back then, but I just thought it was me, you know, because I was brand new, because that was my first trip. I'm yet to be, uh, yet to go in this end of the nature reserve, so I will come up here at some point uh, again and take a walk. Here we go. You can watch it open up at the same time as me. feels like it goes on forever it's just like so if if you if you guys aren't boaters you know when you're on a road and it's a really straight stretch of road and you're driving along and then suddenly you can see for miles and there's no one in front of you and there's no one in your rear view mirror it kind of feels like that but better and it's such a wide stretch as well it's just gorgeous out spot there there's no mooring allowed here because there's quite the drop-off this piling is about uh, waist height so that's an accident um, well not waiting to happen but that would be a terrible terrible incident if the uh, bank broke here and all this water sails out over the mosses I don't think it would do much harm to the mosses mind because they're uh, pretty wet as it is. I went for a walk here once, um, not this section but much further down and you were practically wading. We had to turn back at one point because it was just far too flooded. The towpath gets incredibly um, flooded and mushy just past where we're going to stop today so we're not going to go up there today but in the future I'll show you. Ferns, Wicksall and Bettisfield Mosses, managed by Natural England. I'm going to take a right here. So off to the left you go to Helston, which joins the Shops Union. To the right it's just a really short arm called the Prees Branch. You can just about see Heidi in the distance there. There's a sign. Oh look, someone else has got a red door. Oh my god. <laughs> Not very common. sun's come out for our last stretch too. Isn't that lovely? Bit of a tight spot coming up between two boats. Don't know if you can see. Right before the lift bridge. Fun and games. We made it! Here she is, all moored up. And I'm going to go and meet some uh, other boaters now. We've just had some coffee and met the lovely folks on board Rhapsody in Blue. They also have a vloggers channel. I'm just back at the boat now and I'm gonna put the fire on. I had to borrow some kindling because I haven't got any. Um, so I'm gonna yeah put the fire on and then grab the rum. Hello everyone! So we're here, we have rum, I'm here on Heidi's boat, the narrowboat pirate. Most of you are viewers on her channel anyway, but if you're not, go check her out. I'll put a link in the description. And we're here with Nikki as well, we're having a great time. Nikki's an amazing cook. 
Here we are. We've got Nikki and Heidi. Oh, oh, Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Oh, Cheers, big yeah. ears. And yeah, Nikki is an amazing cook. She made us a roast dinner, so thank and, you very uh, much. Alice is a very bad influence on me because I don't normally drink. Oh, so yeah, I and I, anyway. yeah, I'm a budding alcoholic, so yeah. cheers, everybody. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>